Every year, our Bishop and Prophet, Joel Walkboy, releases a prophecy over the nation of Guyana. Guyana will suddenly witness an unusual downside of economic activities as several sectors of the economy, including the oil sectors, will continue to fluctuate than previous years, mostly in the Middle East and the oil producing countries intensifies. Freedom Life Ministries invites you all to its All Year's Night Prophetic Miracle and Anointing Crossover Service, hosted by Bishop and Prophet Joel and Pastor Delight Walkboy. On Saturday, the 31st of December, 2022, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., venue 24 Princess and Link Street, Charlestown. Come and receive prophetic impartation, miracles, healing, unlimited worship, and much more. For more information, call 616-2141. How to give power to your seed. Someone say power. Power. To my seed. To my seed. Number one, I told you, you do that by, number one, prayerfully prepare the soil of your heart for planting. Your heart must be connected to what you are doing. Say my heart. My heart. Must be connected. Must be connected. Yes. It's very important. Because whatever is not settled in the heart will not reflect in the harvest. It must be settled first in your heart. Don't just sow seed. Just want to sow seed. Because this old yes night service that is coming forth, it will be with power and with signs and wonder. Someone say amen. Amen. So again, I told you. Whatever is not settled in the heart will not reflect in the harvest. Amen. Proverbs 3, 23, 7 says, For as a man thinketh, where? In his heart. So is he. So whatever is not attached to your heart can never, be, can never attract your destiny. Write that down. Whatever is not attached to your heart can never attract your destiny. I pray in the coming year, someone will their destiny will be fulfilled. But it takes faith. It takes faith. Are you following me? Are you following me? So, number one, you have to pray fully, prepare the soil of your heart. Say, my heart. Because if your heart is not there, you just lose whatever you sow. Amen? Amen? Number two, you must prayerfully, use the word, you must prayerfully consider your needs and not your wants. We all have wants. I want this, I want this, I want this. But, but ask God for your needs. If you're not ready for marriage, don't put marriage down. God will not give you that man. Hello? Don't care how much oil you pour your head. I, I don't know if you are here. Listen, listen to me. Very, because I want to make sure that your seed produce harvest. Someone say amen. amen. Prayerfully consider your needs and not your wants. I will, God, I will meet your needs. My God shall supply all my what? All my what? Not my greed. Because neighbor get this, I want it by force, by fire. No! Put things down that you know that these are your needs. And God will answer your prayer. Are you following me? Are you following me? Are you following me? So how do you do that? How do you do that? The key here is that you pray and then write. Don't write and pray. The key again, you pray and what? what? Right. Every year, our Bishop and Prophet, Joel Walkboy, releases a prophecy over the nation of Guyana. Guyana will suddenly witness an unusual downside of economic activities as several sectors of the economy, including the oil sectors, will continue to fluctuate than previous years, mostly in the Middle East and the oil 
producing countries it testifies. Freedom Life Ministries invites you all to its All Year's Night Prophetic Miracle and Anointing Crossover Service, hosted by Bishop and Prophet Joel and Pastor Delight Walkboy. On Saturday, the 31st of December, 2022, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., venue 24 Princess and Link Street, Charlestown. Come and receive prophetic impartation, miracles, healing, unlimited worship, and much more. For more information, call 616 2141. Must, I gave you, you must write 12 prayer requests. Someone say 12. 12 prayer requests. Now, how do you, how do you know what to write? You pray before writing, don't, don't write before praying. You know why? Because when you pray before writing, the flesh is crucified. Prayer helps to diminish the flesh and give power to the spirit. Amen. First, why before you put anything down, you must make sure that you pray. Amen. Once you pray, God will give you the revelation yes. what to write down. Somebody say amen. Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Because I don't want to, I want to make sure that by next year, you have a major testimony. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If that should shout, amen, better than that. Amen. Number three, you must prayerfully consider your seed to reflect your harvest. See your neighbor? Neighbor. You must prayerfully, prayerfully. consider your seed consider to seed. reflect your harvest. Reflect your Why is this important? Why is this important? We all need harvest right now. Yes. I didn't I need harvest. You need harvest. But we all have different levels of harvest. Has to do with your level of seed. Every farmer that I know, they consider their seed during harvest. Not after during harvest. When a man harvests a hundred bags of rice, he decides to put some bags away for the next planting season. Is that true? Yes. See, the people of the world, they are smarter than the people of the kingdom of God. We eat our seed during harvest. And when it's time for planting, we have nothing to plant. And then we ask God for harvest. Listen to me. I told you before. What you see right now today, the chair you are sitting on right now is a finished product. Yes. It came through some raw materials. It's called the seed. The seed leads to harvest. Say neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. your seed, My seed gives birth. Give birth Love to your harvest. To your harvest. harvest. Amen. Psalm 37 verse 25 says, David said, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaking nor the seed begging bread. Say neighbor. neighbor. By next year, By next you will year. not beg for bread. I will not, not beg, beg for bread. bread. If you sow the right seed, you will not beg for bread. This, are you following me? Are you following me? Which means you must have the vision of your intended harvest and avoid the temptation of eating all your seed in this season. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Don't eat all your seed. Don't eat all your seeds. <laughs> don't eat all your seed. Prayerfully consider what you want to sow. Somebody say amen. Amen. Don't just jump at the end. Oh Lord, I'll put 5,000. No, it's not about 5,000, 10,000, 100,000. It's not about that. Let the Holy Ghost minister to you. Because, listen. If God, listen carefully, listen, listen. If God Every year, our Bishop and Prophet, Joel Walkboy, releases a prophecy over the nation of Guyana. Guyana will suddenly witness an unusual downside of economic activities as several sectors of the economy, including the oil sectors, we continue to fluctuate than previous years, mostly in the Middle East and the oil producing countries intensifies. Freedom Life Ministries invites you all to its All Year's Night Prophetic Miracle and Anointing Crossover Service, hosted by Bishop and Prophet Joel and Pastor Delight Walkboy. On Saturday, the 31st of December, 2022, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., 
Venue 24 Princess and Link Street, Charlestown. Come and receive prophetic impartation, miracles, healing, unlimited worship, and much more. For more information, call 616-2141. If God is involved in your seed, then God will be involved in your harvest. Amen. Amen. Say neighbor. Neighbor. If God is involved in your seed, if God is involved in my seed, then your harvest is guaranteed. Then my harvest is guaranteed. Amen. But most times, Pastor Alequi, is that we sow seed from our head. Hear you, man of God. We sow seed from our head and not from our hearts. Say, neighbor. neighbor. So let your seed, let seed be, intentional, be intentional, not accidental. Not accidental. It must plan, which means it must cost you something unusual. Again, prayerfully what? Consider your seed to reflect your harvest. It must cost you something unusual. Second Samuel 24, 24. Hear what the Bible says. But the king replied to Aruna, no, I insist on you pay, you pay you on it. I will not sacrifice to the Lord my God burnt offering that cost me nothing. So David bought the treasure floor and the oxen and paid 50 shekels of silver for them. Look at, look at it. Very important. David is the king. David wants a land or a plot of land to build the altar of God. David goes to this man that's a subject in his kingdom. He says to him, I need your land. By right, David has the power to seize the land. Yes, as a king, yes. He says, I will pay for it. The man, the man says, oh king, take the land for free. David says, no. Listen to me. David, David says, no. I will pay for it. How much is it worth? Because I refuse to give to God what does not cost me anything. Someone say, I hear you. Yes. Now, the understanding in that text is very simple. David was smart. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. You got to be smart. You got to be smart. David was smart. He wanted to make sure that the altar, listen to me, the altar and the sacrifice was his. <laughs> and therefore, all the favors and the blessings coming or arising from there will reflect upon his house and his generation. generation yes. wow. If Aruna had given David free, all the blessings from the altar would have been coming to Aruna and his family. You didn't hear what you were saying. But David was smart. David said, no, no, no. David said, I will pay for it so that the blessing can remain in my house. Yes. I pray Promise. that the coming year, may the blessing of God remain in your house, overflow your house. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The power. power. I'm giving you a revelation yes. on how awesome. to sow seed. Thank you, man of God. Yes. Awesome. When God showed me, God said, look at it. David was smart. He said, no, I will pay for it. Because I want the blessing, yes, sir. the favors from that altar. Amen. That's why when you connect to this altar, Amen. I guarantee you, if you're connected to this altar yes. by the grace of God, by next year, no weapon from against you shall prosper. You will eat the best of the land. For the Lord says, Your favor shall overflow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Many of you don't understand the power of the altar. That's why you sow your seed here on old year's night. I guarantee you. Some things will break. Some things will break. It will break. Lift your hands. As you prepare to sow your covenant advancement seed of faith. Every year, our bishop and prophet, Joel Walkboy, releases a prophecy over the nation of Guyana. Guyana will suddenly witness an unusual downside of economic activities as several sectors of the economy including the oil sectors will continue to fluctuate than previous years mostly in the Middle East and the oil producing countries intensifies Freedom Life Ministries invites you all to its all years night prophetic miracle and anointing crossover service hosted by Bishop and Prophet Joel and Pastor Delight Walkboy on Saturday, the 31st of December, 2022, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., venue 24 Princess and Link Street, Charlestown. 
Come and receive prophetic impartation, miracles, healing, unlimited worship, and much more. For more information, call 616-2141. I prophesy. May the favors and the blessing for 2023 stay with you and your household in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number four. Prayerfully consider. Prayerfully water your seed. So after considering what you want to sow by faith. Now, I don't, I'm not going to tell you, some people say, you have to sow a prophetic seed. For the year 2023, it can be 23,000, it can be 2,300, depending on what you want from God. That's your choice. But it must be prophetic. I, I like this, I keep saying this all the time. Some years ago, there was a young girl, I don't know, I can't remember her name. She came to me, she was very desperate and uh, she wanted a loan from the bank. The bank, the, the loan was about 12, 12 million. And uh, she came to me, in my, you know, she came crying to me because they, they denied her three times. And she came and, I, and she gave, she brought a $12,000 seed envelope. And I look at, I ask her, I say, what do you want from, you know, from God? He said, man of God, I want that 12 million loan. So I asked her, I asked her, I said, why are you sowing 12,000? Hear me now. She said, man of God, I'm using every 1,000 as 1 million. Wow. Come on. Yes. That is a prophetic seed. So as soon as she said that, it clicked in my spirit and I laid my upon her. I said, in the next two weeks from now, that which was refused, oh my God. it shall be answered. In 10 days' time, she called me. She was jubilating, jumping wow. up and down. Say, man of God, the bank just called her wow. to say she has been reconsidered. Thank you, Jesus. I pray by next year, oh, what you have lost for the past years, God shall reconsider you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every year, our bishop and prophet, Joel Walkboy, releases a prophecy over the nation of Guyana. Guyana will suddenly witness an unusual downside of economic activities as several sectors of the economy, including the oil sectors, will continue to fluctuate than previous years, mostly in the Middle East and the oil producing countries intensifies. Freedom Life Ministries invites you all to its All Year's Night Prophetic Miracle and Anointing Crossover Service, hosted by Bishop and Prophet Joel and Pastor Delight Walkboy. On Saturday, the 31st of December, 2022, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., venue 24 Princess and Link Street, Charlestown. Come and receive prophetic impartation, miracles, healing, unlimited worship, and much more. For more information, call 616-2141.